This is Feba Podcast. Thank you for joining us in our morning daily devotion. Good morning, dear listeners. This week, let us focus on understanding biblical way of dealing with crisis. Psalm 31 verses 1 and 2 read as follows. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. These verses are written by the psalmist in his time of crisis. Crisis is not a very welcome word in our world. Nevertheless, it comes knocking at the door of every human who has ever lived on the face of this earth and at times when least expected. It is no respecter of persons. We all fall victims to it at different times in our lives and often more than once. Webster's defines crisis as a difficult or dangerous situation that need serious attention. It is a fact that crisis disrupts life and signals in a condition of instability. It may even alter the person's or family's functioning pattern. The bigger the crisis, the greater its impact and takes longer to recover from. This understanding calls us to have the right spiritual and mental attitude so that when it comes, instead of panicking, we can be battle ready. We can say this because we know the Bible to be a crisis management manual as well. It has helped and trained myriads of its characters. Through this week, let us learn to address crisis in our lives wisely. For this, we require two ingredients: to face the truth by not lying to ourselves, and to be brave instead of covering in fear. The reading of the Psalms shows that. Most of them were written during times of crisis and great distress and like the psalmist let us bring our crisis before the Lord through earnest prayer and faith Psalm 120 verse 1 reads I call on the Lord in my distress and he answers me Dear listeners let's be encouraged that there are many accounts of biblical characters who were victims of crisis but became overcomers through faith and resilience amazingly their godly response to those very situations is what made them the stalwarts of faith the negative human response to crisis is to feel sad angry guilty afraid confused anxious and so on but god wants us to learn to respond positively so we learn to cope well remain confident and strong know our self worth in christ this enriches and enables us to bring hope to others in their desperate times and remain a constant support To understand crisis we need to know its root cause here again the bible exposes the three main culprits sin satan and self in understanding how to deal with these three we learn to overcome crisis the right response to all these three perpetrators is found in god's promises to us God answers our call of distress in Hebrews 13:5 Never will I leave you never will I forsake you God is faithful true and full of grace my grace is sufficient for you This verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9 forms a solid foundation to anchor our faith God's promises are given to us so that we do not lose hope dear father i know that you are the only one who can help me in my times of distress and helplessness you are god over any crisis you reign supreme over all situations 
I hold on to your promises no matter what this life may bring my way. In Jesus name. Amen. Dear listener, we are here to stand with you in your time of need. We want to pray with you and for your prayer request. Do you need someone to talk to? We are here for you. Call us or send a message at plus nine one six three six four two five two one six four plus nine one six three six four two five two one six four. God bless you. Thank you.